Howdy, this is Edward from Valarm. In this video, you'll learn how to easily and rapidly deploy remote water monitoring units. This demo tutorial breaks down water levels and depth sensors, aka pressure transducers, that our customers use for industrial IoT applications like the water well you see in the picture here. Our customers use Valarm to monitor water well depths as well as flow meters so they can remotely monitor real-time water usage. The rugged Valarm units deployed in the field use the same technology as the hands-on demo in this video. Next, we'll be breaking down the key components for water monitoring with Valarm. These are the key pieces you need to monitor water depths. You'll put them into a waterproof box and provide a source for power and internet. This is a pressure transducer or water level sensor. These sensors are made by companies all around the world. Flowline and in situ are examples of a few brands that our customers like to use. The pressure transducers send a raw 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal that will convert to a real world depth measure like feet. This is a 4 to 20 MA sensor adapter that converts the raw analog 4 to 20 MA signal from the sensor to a digital reading. The sensor is available at shop.valarm.net. This is a sensor hub that receives data from connected sensors like the 4 to 20 MA sensor here. The hub then sends data to Valarm Tools Cloud, tools.valarm.net, via GSM, mobile cell network, or Wi-Fi, or Ethernet. You can get your sensor hubs and sensors at shop.valarm.net. Watch our other videos for step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect your sensor hubs to tools.valarm.net if you haven't already done that. Now that everything's plugged in, we can deploy the pressure transducer in the water well or other body of water. You can configure your sensor hub to automatically upload the water sensor data to Valarm Tools Cloud as often as you'd like. Based on the pressure of the water above it, the sensor sends data that you can use to know water levels and depths. We'll change the depth of the sensor so you can see water levels changing on tools.valarm.net. Now you'll log on to tools.valarm.net to see your water monitoring information. In the Valarm Tools Cloud Device Manager, click your device. Here you'll see a list of your latest historical sensor information from sensors connected to the sensor hubs. There are regular sensor reports from a sensor hub with 4 to 20 MA sensor readings from the pressure transducer. Here in the graph, you see a sample of the data where the water sensor was rising and falling into the water. Note that these are raw 4 to 20 MA values, and we want to know real world measurements like feet or meters. To do that, we'll set up a linear scalar under Configure Data Path. Here you see the configuration we'll use with this water level sensor where we'll convert raw 4 to 20 MA values to depths in feet. Provide a name and info for your linear scalar and select the inputs and outputs. In this case, we're using channel 1 of the 4 to 20 MA sensor adapter and we'll output the result in feet to the calc 1 field. Next, set the min and max raw values that your sensor can report, in this case 4 and 20, then the maximum output values. A reading of 4 milliamps for this sensor is 0 feet of water depth, and a reading of 20 milliamps for this sensor is 2 meters, or 6.5616 feet of water. Click Save to finish your linear scalar setup. Now when you see Calc 1, these values correspond to water depths in feet, like you see in the graph of the water sensor information we gathered earlier in the pool. All of your sensor data and fields are available throughout Valarm Tools Cloud, like in the Esri ArcGIS maps you see here. Click any of your sensor hub's locations to see the latest information on your maps. You can use our JSON APIs to send your real-time GPS tag sensor information to a web-based dashboard. We can help make your organization a custom web dashboard for any sensors you are monitoring. Send us a message at info at valarm.net and let us know what you need. See our blog at www.valarm.net for the latest write-ups and stories, along with more info on cool tools and features like email alerting. On our website, you'll find customer stories and learn more about effective water resources management, chemical distribution, and monitoring high-tech transport vehicles like fleets of trucks with industrial equipment like tanks and vacuums. 
Thank you for watching, and please don't hesitate to contact us at info at Valarm.net if you have any questions, or you can connect with us on a phone call at 424-442-0963 so we can learn how we can best help you and your teams with monitoring solutions.